Hello everyone, my name is Dilip Gita Krishnan. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of existing GPUs and explain how the mechanical APDL application uses them. My goal is to help you make an informed decision while selecting a GPU to achieve optimal performance in your simulations. Choosing the right GPU is essential for accelerating your simulations. This video will highlight key technical considerations and performance metrics to guide your GPU selections for simulations in the mechanical APDL application. GPUs or graphic processing units are cards designed for parallel processing, making them ideal for workloads that involve performing many similar tasks at the same time. Their strength lies in executing operations independently and simultaneously across thousands of cores. When evaluating GPU performance, key properties to consider include memory bandwidth, computer power, measurement flops, and the total available memory capacity in gigabytes. APDL uses GPUs most effectively for the linear algebra operations within the solver. GPUs can be broadly divided in the following categories. Data center, cards. These are AI or HPC cards like NVIDIA B100, H100, or the AMD MI300, 210, etc. They are designed for maximum performance in HPC, offering high compute power, large memory capacities, and extensive ecosystem support. While they are the most expensive cards on the list, they will work well with all solvers in the mechanical APDL application. Next are the professional workstation cards. These are examples like um, the RTX 6000 ADA or the RTX Pro uh, 6000 and the AMD Radeon Pro W7900, etc. While similarly optimized for graphics and media production, they also offer some capabilities for simulation workloads. Workstation cards are more affordable compared to data center cards. And finally, there are consumer GPUs. These are commonly used by gamers and you know your laptops or PCs. And these are cards like the RTX 4050 series by NVIDIA or the AMD Radeon RX series. These are typically used for content creation and gaming. Although they are the most affordable list, they are currently not supported or recommended for simulations in the APDL application. Most manufacturers provide a data sheet for the GPUs. Here are the you know, four most important specifications that you should look for. Um, FP64 performance measured in flops. Flops stand for floating point operations per second. Um, and the FP64 performance is the number of operations per second for double precision. FP64 determines how fast double precision calculations are done. This also this directly affects the speed of the direct solver. And next we have FP32 performance. It was also in flops. This indicates the speed of single precision calculations. And this is more relevant for the mixed solver performance. And then we have the bandwidth uh, measured in gigabytes per second or terabytes per second nowadays. <clears throat> Higher bandwidth speeds speeds up data transfers and um, this significantly benefits all the solvers in particular the iterative solver and finally we have the memory capacity in gigabytes so well more memory um, enables more computations to be offloaded to the gpu which improves the overall performance you can find these uh, statistics for gpus online through different websites like i don't know google wikipedia etc this is what you should look for in GPUs depending on the chosen solver if you want to optimize your simulations. The direct solver requires high compute power, FP64 flops, and performs better with higher memory bandwidth and larger memory capacity. Iterative solvers require high memory bandwidth and also perform better with larger capacity, but do not necessarily need really high compute power, either FP64 or FP32. The mix solver requires high compute power in FP32 flops in particular and performs better with higher memory bandwidth and larger memory capacity like the others. For a list of recommended GPUs for the mechanical APDL application, refer to the installation guide and documentation. To view tested GPU cards, visit the platform support page on the ANSYS website. I hope this video helps you choose the right GPU for your simulation needs. Thank you.